CBS 6 Sky Tracker, sponsored by Baugh Auto Body. You know, it's just September, but we want to take you up north to Canada, where they're already getting snow. Up to five inches fell in Calgary, Alberta, Canada through Wednesday. And uh, you can see the problems left thousands of people without power, all that wet snow on the limbs. And there's still a lot of leaves on the trees there. And it just mm -hmm. fell on the power lines, knocking out power uh, for us. What, 70 degrees? That's not too bad this yeah. time of the day. So it's still mild, it's still humid, but we are in for the same cold front that brought in that colder air into western parts of Canada. Mm -hmm. It's coming for us. Here we go. I know, here we go. All right, let's go ahead and please move on and let's look outside. 68 degrees for us right now. Visibility is just fine. Temperatures, as we mentioned, into the upper 60s to the lower 70s across central Virginia. It is still muggy for us before this front arrives. Now you can see the cooler air has already invaded parts of the Great Lakes and the Midwest. It's 52 right now in Chicago, 62 in Indianapolis where the front just passed by overnight. You can see there it is in the blue line here. That's our cold front. Same low pressure storm system that's been bringing in that colder air and ahead of it, pulling in rich moisture out of the Gulf and the Atlantic into our region. And that will serve as fuel for storms later today after three o'clock. Over the past hour, you can see a little bit of that cloud cover still hanging tight with us. So we are going to stay very Really cloudy this morning and through most of the day, so it's a mix of sun and clouds. Storm chances don't pick up for us until after three o'clock. So if you do have acts of service outdoors today for Patriot today, it will be dry for the bulk of the day. And you summer weather lovers, this is your last hot and humid day like this for the foreseeable future. So I would encourage you to get out and enjoy it before three o'clock if you can. It will be hot and humid, highs into the upper 80s and lower 90s. Now those storms will become possible after three o'clock, especially north and west of Richmond. And heads up, this could be a stormy evening commute for you, especially keep this in mind if you ride your bike to and then from work. Your bike ride to work just fine this morning, but coming home could be nasty because we're talking about these threats. Strong winds and hail, as well as of course, lightning and heavy rainfall, which you would expect. Highs for today, Take a good look at them. We're not going to see these again for a while, potentially upper 80s, lower 90s. And so it's quiet through most of the day today. It's after three o'clock that we start to see the first isolated storms popping up, but then the energy starts to arrive. The front's getting closer to us. We've had all afternoon to get really hot and that will serve as fuel for some scattered strong to potentially a few severe storms capable of damaging wind gusts and large hail. These storms will continue to track to the south and east and by midnight it'll be quiet. You can go to sleep and enjoy sleeping quietly through the overnight period. Rain will wrap up for us too before sunrise tomorrow as that front is tracking through. Now there's the potential for some locally heavier rainfall amounts out of this. You can see as much as an inch to an inch and a half depending on if you get some of those repeat rounds of storms later this afternoon and evening. But look at the temperatures after today, staying in the 70s and lower 80s. Rob Reba. All right, thanks, Carrie. Here is another reason to eat a good breakfast in the morning. It may lower your kid's risk of having